Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day. Hey guys and girls, doing? We're back. We're going to be making our cat move a little bit. And now, this is a big problem that some of you have. I was going to talk about it in the last video, but I forgot, so I'm going to do it now. Now, the thing is that if we're rotating our cat here, uh, updating it right here, and we're going to move our cat at the same time in the Z direction. So we're going to move it minus 0 0.1 in the Z direction, and we're rotating it at the same time. What is going to happen? Now, our it's going to kind of orbit. See how it's orbiting? See that? We don't want that, right? We want it to rotate around its own origin and move backwards in a straight line. Now, that is a problem you might find sometimes if you're using straight matrices, but you don't want to keep all the data in your matrix. You want to keep it in outside variables, reset the matrix, put your variables in, and then send it in. So the matrix is always reset. Otherwise, you're going to have some really weird things like that happen. So basically what you want to do to any character or anything that you have is you want to specify some stuff. You want to say glm vec3 position, which we'll set to 0.f for the cat. Uh, we'll say glm vec3 rotation, which we'll set to 0.f. Uh, and we'll say glm um, vec3 scale which we'll set to 1.f because we want the scale to be 1 remember that uh, there we go I talked about some pitfalls last video about initializing your matrices as an identity matrix first and you might get a black screen if you don't so just remember to do that in each of your matrices all right all of your matrices just like this uh, so yeah there we go so we have a position rotation and scale for our cat so we're gonna remove this this is the position position this is gonna be rotation dot x in radians okay just gonna copy this put it in here put it in here y and z and scale so scale just like that so now we have everything stored in variables not in the matrix itself so there we go. Now if I change something here, it will obviously change here. But the matrix will be reset. Uh, and obviously I want to do the same here. Now model matrix, I want to reset it to a GLM mat for an identity matrix. So zeros everywhere, identity matrix. And I want to recalculate that right here. Uh, I'm going to change this again to position. You know what I can do? I can just copy paste all of this stuff here. So we'll save some time. There we go. Now, I want to show you what happens. Now, if I run this, probably nothing's going to happen. It's going to be fine. All right, still works. Uh, if I want to just go ahead and say rotation.y on the y-axis plus equals 2.f, just like before. And then at the same time, position.z minus equals 0.1.f we'll see a whole different thing happening now. Now we won't get the same problem. Now it's moving away 0.01f because it went too fast. Uh, it moved away really quickly. See? Uh, we have it moving in a straight line while rotating. So no more issues. So remember that. Try to, try to get everything that way. Now if I want to scale it as well, I have to try that. Scale.x plus equals 0.01f and just like this all right it's gonna get bigger and bigger in the x value as it rotates so it's gonna be a really long fat cat uh, but yeah we're gonna remove that there we go so that's about it that's about it for that nothing special right i'm gonna set everything to zero everything's fine over here and uh, no biggie now what I'm going to do in the main loop all the way up here is I'm going to make a function. I'm going to remove, just make that smaller there. I'll make a void, um, make a function called, um, called, uh, what's it called? Update input. Okay. Just like that. Now, now we don't have a class, so we need to send in the variables. Actually, you know what we're going to do? And, well, glfw window pointer window. We need a window for this. 
we need to update the position and the rotation of the cat, I guess. Uh, so we need a GLM, GLM, God damn it, Vec3 position reference. So we're going to change it. Uh, what? I did it correctly. What am I doing? Okay. Copy paste this for the three things we're going to be changing. If you have a class, obviously you don't have to send in parameters here. Um, rotation scale. So we're going to send those three things in and we're going to update, whoops, uh, update stuff. So the way you check for input is this, is say if glf w get key from window glf w key, uh, let's say w equals glfw press that means you'll get a key and check if it's pressed now if the key is pressed we want a w we want to move our cat forward so uh, po position dot z plus equals oh no minus equals 0.01f so we're going to copy paste this you should be using dt here delta time but i'll go through that a little later with you guys and girls how to do that because it's really important to keep your game uh, frame rate independent now I made a few videos and tutorials on what that means because it might be a lot for your head to get around your head but it's really important that means that no matter the frame rate your character will move the same amount even if it looks laggy it will move the same amount otherwise it will be a sluggish game it will be slower and slower the less frame rate you have or if you have a really high frame rate the game will just fly past you don't want that you want the same effect so that's something we have to talk about as well and that we should get used to pretty quickly um, so yeah you want to do that uh, for what I want to do here is I want to say key s that means that we're moving plus equals so we're moving into the screen if we're pressing a we're changing the z no the x coordinate minus 0 0.01 and the x coordinate plus 0 0.01 for d we're pressing the D key just like that now I'm gonna make a few more things I'm gonna do Q and E for rotation rotation dot uh, dot for, for the Y value so we're gonna be rotating around the Y axis okay so Q is gonna obviously minus I think and then X is plus uh, one dot F I guess one degree we'll keep it to one there we go just like that and then we want to run this function in here in the loop I usually do it after GLFW pull events so update input I will send in window uh, position put rotation scale boom now we'll see we'll see what happens so we have a cat and I'm moving the cat around with my W key and I'm moving it around with the Q key rotating it like this and all that stuff now I want to make sure I can do Z and X for scaling as well um, let me see that's also something I want to do so let me do Z and x so z is gonna say scale scale just add scale with one every or not one right it's it's gonna be too much 0 0.1 and z increases and this decreases scale minus equals 0 0.1 if scale less than 0 0.1 f Kill him with 3, 0.1f. No, I guess you can't do that. You know what? Who cares about that? We don't need to error check this right now. It's just for fun. Doesn't really matter. Uh, let's try this out. So if I want to scale something, oh god. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it flips. Oh, it flips if you, because it goes into minus. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's sweet. This looks like some crazy ass. I don't know what this is. Excuse my language. 
like, oh, oh, my God, oh, oh, oh. oh, this is pretty fun. You guys can. Oh, whoa, 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 dude. What, dude? That is sick. That is crazy. So there you go. That's some updating inputs. And we'll go through mouse input later as well. We'll go through all that stuff. Um, so no biggie. We'll make all that happen with the camera class later on. So don't worry. At least we have all of that stuff working. So all the way down here. You just want to put your update thing. All right. You just want to hear it right here. Update input. Boom. And you'll be good. So I hope this has been a short video. But I hope you learned something more about input and why and how the this error occurs. So you want some variables to take care of all your stuff. All right. So just think about that. But thanks for watching as always. Take care. Best of luck. Keep learning. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.